What's up guys, Jeremy85 here. In this video I talk about a fuel pump issue and its solution in conjunction with the installation of a LPG injection kit. Since about 7 years I'm driving this 96 Dodge Ram 1500 with a BRC LPG system Sequentify SF installed. A few months after the install the car had starting problems. I didn't think that this was caused by the LPG kit since the car always starts on gasoline. It turned out that the fuel pump was defective and it had to be replaced. I thought now that would solve the problem, but after some time there were new issues with the new fuel pump. The pressure regulator that sits on top of the tank had burst and I lost fuel. Then a few months later a small hole slipped off the fuel pump and the gasoline was just being circulated inside the tank. I found out that my vehicle only has one fuel line and none back and the pump runs constantly, regardless of whether the engine runs on gasoline or LPG gas. As an LPG mode no gasoline is used, the fuel pump apparently generated a really high pressure inside the fuel line and caused the problems. I decided to install a separate switch for the fuel pump. This small upgrade was neither complicated nor expensive and when I got it installed no further problems with the fuel pump occurred. Now when I want to start the car I turn on the fuel pump with the switch, turn the key, drive off and when it switches to LPG mode I turn off the fuel pump. That way no high pressure can be built up inside the fuel line. If I turn off the pump in gasoline mode this is what happens. Engine doesn't get fuel and shuts off. Maybe I'll install the relay so I don't have to hit the switch all the time. Now I've been driving since about 3 years using this switch and there's no problem at all. If your car seems to have similar problems, you can have a look whether your fuel pump is also building up high pressure inside the gasoline line. And for those of you who might want to install a LPG kit, check whether your vehicle has a fuel return line or as a my car only one line from the tank to the engine. I hope this video helps you to avoid problems and to save money. I would really appreciate a thumb up. If you have questions or thoughts just write me a comment. On my channel you'll find many helpful and interesting videos on my Dodge Ram 1500. Thank you very much for watching. Jeremy 85 signing out.